Alrighty folks, let's make some pork pie, made famous at Castle Black on the Wall, from a Feast of Ice and Fire that was a dragon. Alright, so you have, you're going to need your pie crust, uh, made, or, made or not made ahead of time, it really doesn't matter. Some barbecue sauce, an onion, two apples that will be heat cored and sliced. You will need a full cup of grated cheese, you'll need a pound and a half of ground beef or pork, a full uh, sleeve of Ritz crackers, and some salt and pepper and cumin just to add some extra flavor. Again, you'll leave that one onion to be diced and about a third of a cup of the barbecue sauce and maybe some extra for dipping afterwards. So there's all the ingredients and now we gotta put it together. The first step is to saute these onions. Uh, right now behind me I have a pan nice and hot with melted butter. Not too much butter, just enough to kind of cover the pan. Dice this onion up uh, in a slap chop like device, a pampered chef version. Pampered chef uh, version. Uh, it takes a little while to get a little pieces out from all the juices, but I'm going to get most of the onions out. And you're going to saute this in the pan for, I would say, about five minutes. Um, keep an eye on it. It will start cooking very fast, and the slivers of onion will get very brown very quickly. But that is what you want. You just don't want to overdo it and make a burnt and taste bad. You just want to really seal in some flavor and really feel more and more tender and less raw. Now, you may remember that Sam, uh, at least once in the books, mentioned that if I could fly, I would go back to Castle Black and have some pork pie. And so Sam is on his way here now. And to make this ready for Sam, we need some Ritz crackers. I ended up using a full sleeve of Ritz crackers. I just did a little bit at a time to start. Again, use this laptop slap chop machine. I guess if you want to call it a machine. You're going to want to make the breadcrumb mixture fairly well grounded, but I would not say a very lightly fine powder. Uh, leave some chunks of Ritz crackers just to have a little surprise when you bite into the pie. Uh, make sure you decor both your apples and slice them fairly thin. They're going to go on top of uh, this mixture. So the apples are ready. That made a lot of apples right there. Um, and that's just from two, a lot of slices from just two apples. Once you have your meat defrosted and ready to go, pour in your breadcrumbs. You're going to mix in the breadcrumbs, number one sleeve of Ritz crackers, with a pound and a half of ground beef or pork. It's, of course, it would prefer pork, but in my case, I only had was beef. You're going to mix in your sauteed onions, uh, just a sprinkle of cumin and a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Mix that all together, as you can see here, preferably without your bowl spinning, but this is what I have to work with. Uh, make sure this meat is nice and defrosted. Any type of really cold frozen meat will take that much longer uh, for the entire concoction to be ready. You just pour that into your uh, pie dish. You can see with this 9 inch pie crust that I have, it basically fills it to the top. The next step will be to cover this mixture with your barbecue sauce about a third of a cup, spread it nice and evenly, who is my words today, nice and evenly uh, around the entire concoction. Now what this is going to do is as it cooks and as the meat uh, browns, this barbecue sauce on top will kind of sink in and flavor with the meat. Uh, and it does recommend having some extra hot sauce or barbecue sauce or ketchup on the side to give some extra flavor once the whole thing is cooked. But this should do nice and really give the meat uh, some nice some nice flavors. Um, I'm using just your basic barbecue sauce. You can have a hickory smoke, however you want it. Doesn't really matter there. Try to spread as evenly as you can, not leaving any meat on soaked in barbecue sauce. Anyway, next you're gonna layer on as many of the slices of apple as you can. Now in my case, I would say one apple may be enough. So now you're going to sprinkle on your Parmesan cheese on top of this entire concoction. That's a one full cup of Parmesan cheese, and again, spread as evenly as you can over the apples, which is over the barbecue sauce, which is over your meat and crackers and onion combination. The last step to all this is the pie crust. Now I just had two uh, fully shaped pie, uh, dough pie tins. I just took the crust off of one and layered it on top of the other, keeping everything in the original pan the dough came in. Now you're going to want to cut some slits on top of the dough and slide it in the oven for about 45 minutes, preheated to 375, and boom. It doesn't look super appetizing there, but I promise you it is delicious. Uh, you'll enjoy being at the wall. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I will leave the description of ingredients below and enjoy playing the Game of Thrones.